going on again guys? Kevin Brassard back here again. Uh, it's 7-12 on the 25th of October. It's Tuesday today. It's a chilly... See if I can bring it up. Bear with me. It says 41 degrees. It said 31 or 39 in the house. So it's pretty chilly out this evening. The wind's been really cold the past few days. Uh, late in the week last week there's some terrible rain and it was awful but it's been dry it's almost getting into the snow season you know so anyways purpose of the video today I'm just gonna give a look at the new uh, tank that I got for the 350X which is all done sitting over here which I'm gonna get a video of that at some point pretty soon probably once I get the tank on it but yeah, so I got this tank on the old Evil Bay, as some people like to refer to it. Um, really nice shape. Um, the guy had four of them. I'll give the guy a shout out here. I think his name is uh, Squad S SQ Tanks or something. Let me see. SQ Tank on eBay. 100% feedback. He's always got a bunch of stuff, uh, 350X stuff, up. I don't know if he does right now. I probably won't be able to see it. Anyways, here's that tank. I've been cleaning it out with apple cider vinegar. I um, don't know how many people have done that before, but it works wonders. Uh, you just got to be careful how rusted out the tank is. For example, I did it on my 250SX tank and uh, it, the pinholes it rotted right through. But this tank is not bad at all. This is what it looked like beforehand. It was pretty nasty. I let it soak for 24 hours with the apple cider vinegar. did a pretty good job as you can see there's still some rust right here and I uh, probably can't get a good camera angle of it but up at the top ang uh, side there's quite a bit it's a little bit right there but this whole tank was um, covered in rust like that it's chunky nasty shit so I soaked it for like I said 24 hours rinsed it out and then I rinsed it out with uh, a mixture of water and baking soda. Uh, because that will neutralize the acidity of the vinegar I've read online. So I did that. Here's a shot of the apple cider vinegar that I dumped out of it. See how dark and nasty that is. I'm probably going to let it soak again, so I'm probably just going to reuse that same stuff. I'm going to run it through a strainer and get all the chunks out of it. Um, I, I've heard that you can use regular vinegar too, like uh, distilled white vinegar or um, regular uh, any other, whatever the variety of vinegar is, I guess. I got this distilled white vinegar. I just used some of this because I didn't have quite enough to fill the tank because it's over two gallons. It's like two and a half gallon or 2.6 gallon, something like that tank. So I had to add a little bit more. Um, right here I got these fork boots. I got these from uh, the same guy, SQ Tanks on eBay. Uh, these were $8.99. I was the only person to bid on them. And they're in actually pretty nice shape. They're dirty, nasty. They got a lot of uh, grime on them. Uh, they look like they might be faded just a little bit. But. I like these small ridge style like that. And like that 
Um, I prefer that to the big ridge like I got on this. The I don't know if those are just a newer aftermarket style or if they've always had that style. But um, right now I'm probably going to take shield off the bottom of it. As you can see there's some dirt and stuff on the bottom. I never took the pet cock off. I don't know if I made a BM big mistake by doing that or not. But I'll find out. So anyways guys, this has been a Kevin Brassard production once again. We'll get a video of the 350X complete afterwards. Um, shout outs go to Marcel St. Jean, Tom Martin, Harvey Spooner. Um, effort equals results. It's all stony. Uh, God, I'm trying to think of what his YouTube name is. I can't think of... Yeah, so just to give you guys an idea of how much shit that the apple cider vinegar will actually remove. Um, first of all, we'll look just in the bottom of this container. They dumped all the all of it into and you can see in there all of it on the bottom. And then if you look in this funnel here, the strainer that I dumped it through, that's all the rust and everything. And it's pretty uh, pretty thick and nasty too. So that's pretty cool, eh? Apple cider vinegar works wonders on rusty gas tanks. Like I said, just be careful of them pinholes, they'll get you. Just refilled her again, gonna let her sit and dump her out again tomorrow. Hopefully get the rest of that rust out. And uh, I don't know how exactly important the baking soda step is. Um, but I do know if you're gonna rinse it with water, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get it dry and dry out really quick so it'll flash rust really quick. Um, I don't know if a good idea would be to coat it with some oil or what, but I'm going to do some more research on that. But anyways, rust. <laughs>